Many Catholics, as well as all churches that have joined with Rome in the last century, know all too well about what true Bible students declare to be a strange doctrine put forth by the Church of Rome called original sin. Historic record shows that it was actually a doctrine by Irenaeus, the Bishop of Lyon in the 2nd century, which was then further shaped and developed by Augustine in the 4th century, which confirms the apostles of centuries earlier never embraced it and therefore never spoke of it in Scripture. But then this never stopped Rome from claiming otherwise before, and so notice the following quote from the Roman Catholic Church. It says, the church has always taught that the overwhelming misery which oppresses men and their inclination towards evil and death cannot be understood apart from their connection with Adam's sin and the fact that he has transmitted to us a sin which we are all born afflicted, a sin which is the death of the soul. Because of this certainty of faith, the church baptizes for the remission of sins tiny infants who have not committed personal sin. We therefore hold with the Council of Trent that original sin is transmitted with human nature by propagation and not by imitation. In the book that they teach their own children in the Catholic Church, it says the following. Question. What is original sin? Answer. Original sin is the sin we inherit from Adam, the father of the human race. Yet, in the word of our God, we find in Deuteronomy 24, 16, that the fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. And then later in Ezekiel 18, 20, it says that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. In other words, the Bible clearly says that the Roman Catholic doctrine of original sin is not of God. And if it is not of God, then it can only be of the poisoner of souls or the devil himself. That all being said, do we have evidence that the Seventh-day Adventist Church teaches the exact same doctrine of original sin wherein all one needs to do is be born into the world and you have the sins of Adam upon you? Notice this from a publication that was put forth and authorized by the North American Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church on page 118. We are born sinful and subject to death prior to law-breaking. Clearly, Adam's sin affected the race, and then they say that's what constituted them as sinners. And then in an adult Sabbath school quarterly, From January 23, 1983, on page 35, it literally says we are born sinners. Thank you for watching. God bless.